Hey guys, so today's tutorial is um, inspired by Makeup by Mario's recent makeup look on Khloe Kardashian. I just thought it was so pretty and so dramatic and I thought that it would be perfect to recreate to inspire you guys for upcoming prom or special occasion or just because you want to have tons of fun with your makeup like I do. But if you have prom coming up, this would be a perfect look for it. It's super easy, um, but still dramatic and fun and flirty. So I hope that you guys enjoy and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time. Bye. All right, to start off with our face, I'm going to conceal my dark circles using the Benefit Boing Concealer. Just putting that in the inner corners. And then I am using the Cover FX Illuminating Primer to prime my skin and give a little bit more dewy finish. After I do that, my foundation is going to be the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. The shade that I use is the 123, and then I did mix a little bit of my MAC concealer in with it because the shade was a little too dark. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. And once that is all blended out, I'm going to conceal and highlight under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, and you know, all the other good places. And this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I believe. Um, and then I did just spray my Beauty Blender with Fix Plus just to make it blend a little bit easier. I definitely think the Beauty Blender is one of the best tools to blend out foundation and concealer. Just remember that you want to bounce the Beauty Blender and not drag it across the skin. That'll give the most natural finish. And to set under the eyes, I am using the Banana Shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and the Kat Von D Highlighting Brush. And I'm just doing this to set the under eye and to highlight. And then to set the rest of the face, I am using the Cover FX Illuminating Powder. And this just gives such a pretty glow to the skin. You guys have to try this out. Alright, next step is brows, and I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown to lightly go over my brows and fill them in. And I'm using more short strokes. This gives a natural looking appearance to the brows as opposed to the really harsh lines. And you can see the difference there between the filled in brow and the non-filled in brow. It looks a lot better. It defines the face. Once we have our brows most of the way filled in, we're going to use the Anastasia Brow Powder. And this is just going to help fill in any of the gaps and help soften up the brow. And don't forget the most important part is to set it. And I'm using the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. Alright, for the base on our eyes, I'm going to use this Maybelline Tattoo. And this is in the shade Tenacious Teal. When using colors like this, it's always best to set down a base so that way the colors are more vibrant. And I accidentally forgot to do my transition shade, so I'm using this one by Pixie. And then I'm just going to put that um, tattoo down on my lower lash line. That way the shadows really adhere down there as well. And... For the first shadow, I am using the new Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Center Stage. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. If you guys have not tried the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows, they are amazing. Um, I am putting this all over my lid, and then I'm going to use this blending brush, and it is it has no pigment on it whatsoever, just to buff out the edges shadows like this these deeper colors it's always best to kind of go in rounds so buff out add more shadow on and on until you get the perfect amount and to give this look a little bit more dimension I did go in with the NYX loose pigment and teal just to kind of make the eyes pop and then for my inner corner I am using the new grand tiara pigment from sugar pill once we are done with that, then we move on to lashes. These are the Luxie Lash Baby Doll Lashes, and they are amazing. And then we can't forget to put mascara on our lower lash line as well. And to warm up the face, I'm going to use this bronzer by The Balm called Bahama Mama. This is going to give us a lot more color to the face and give us more of a bronze look. And then once we are done with that, then of course I will go in with a blush. And I am using this Bobbi Brown Blush. And I'm not sure, I can't remember what the color is, so I'll put it in the description bar. 
And to make sure everything is seamless, I am just taking this Duo Fiber Brush by Sigma to blend everything out. And to highlight, I'm going to use the middle shade from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and put that in the high points of my face to give a little bit more light. I'm also adding that under my brow bone and then setting everything with Max Fix Plus. I'm lining my lips with MAC Whirl, and I you could overdraw if you wanted, but I don't really need to do that. So I am just lining my lips, and then I will fill it in with the Melted Too Faced Nude Lipstick. And then I'm going to take this Anastasia Pro Pencil and put that in the middle just to give a highlight. And then blot it out. Once we're done with that, we are completely done with this look, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye!